Chatting with Tim Huber, head coach of the Augustana baseball team. The Vikings will travel to Cameron on Monday and Tuesday uh, as part of their spring break trip, I guess you could say. Uh, coach, you guys uh, had a chance to get outside on the field this week. Uh, can you kind of talk about what the field's looking like, the playing conditions out there? Yeah, the last three, four days have been unbelievable as far as drying and got rid of almost all the snow. There's a little spot out in left field on the morning track and stuff, but uh, Frost came up on the infield. Uh, we actually thought we were going to just have pitchers throw to hitters on the mound and home plate and just shag balls from there, but uh, we were able to do a, full, do a full scrimmage yesterday on the field. So it was a little soft, but um, all in all, if we had to play games this weekend, we'd, we'd be able to the way, the way everything kind of shook out with, with uh, the field. So, yeah, it was great getting outside. A pair of doubleheaders at Cameron uh, Monday, Tuesday. These guys are, are pretty good. They mm -hmm. Uh, picked up a handful of wins already this year. What do you know about them? Yeah, they, they've got two hitters. Uh, one guy's got, I think, eight home runs. Another guy has six, uh, which with the new bats, that's that's pretty darn good at this point in the year. I think they're, oh, 17, 18 games into the year. I think they're 13 and four before I, I don't know how they went, how they did this week. They had two games. Um, but uh, they're going to be tough. Uh, you know, they've got some conference games coming up here uh, today and tomorrow, actually. They play conference and then, uh, you know, so they have a couple, or wait, they play, yeah, Friday, Saturday conference, and then we play them Monday, Tuesday. So I'm not sure how the pitching side of things is going to work out for them, but they'll definitely swing the bats, and um, they'll be a good team, good test for us. And then uh, the conference season's just around the corner for Augustana as well. Minnesota Crookston is slated to come. Um, on Saturday, Sunday, uh, a week from this Saturday, Sunday, yep. uh, you're expecting the field to be in good shape for that, and we're going to play this one in Falls. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. It looks that way. The uh, there's a chance of rain next week. You know, it's you know, a week out, so it's hard to say. But uh, and, and it's going to cool off. I think Wednesday, Thursday, um, maybe a little concerned about that. But uh, if the frost goes back into the ground with some rain, that's where we could have some some issues. But uh, the long term, Saturday, Sunday looks good uh, as far as temperatures in the 50s or 60s. And so, yeah, I, I think we're going to be good. Our field's pretty good. If, if we get the, the snow off and, and the, the temperatures are good, our field dries really quick. So uh, we're looking forward to some home games next weekend. Now, is that a situation where if uh, the weather doesn't cooperate or the field's just not ready to go, that you'll look for an alternate site or just play that game? That yeah, we, we actually have had uh, Minnetonka High School field, uh, field turf field set up for a month plus now, and, and so that is an option. I know there's some other schools that have talked to me about trying to get our spot that we had up there, and that might happen too. I, I haven't got to the point where they haven't said, hey, do you, are you using it or are you not? Somebody else wants it. So as of now, we're still reserved at Minnetonka uh, those two days also, so we do have a backup plan but I, I really don't think we're going to have any issues the way things look. So. All right, thanks, Coach. You bet.